In this video we're going to take a look at the hex editor that comes with Backtrack 5. To begin with I'll click on Applications, Backtrack, Forensics, Digital Forensics and there's our hex edit application that we're going to use. Now this is a command line hex editor that we've got available for Backtrack 5 and to use this program uh, you're going to want to actually have either a, a file to look at an ISO image possibly or an image, a partition of a hard drive or an entire hard drive or a flash drive or something of that sort to actually look at here for hexadecimal editing purposes. Now what I'm going to do is just I'll just create a file here, create document, and we'll just have an empty file. I'll just call it test file. And within it I'll just go ahead and type in some text here to search for. There we go. Go ahead and hit save and close this. Now, so I'm going to go ahead and use this hex edit program to open up this test file so we can get a look at what it looks like. I'll type in hex edit. And I'm going to go ahead and type in, since I'm currently in the uh, user's root directory or home directory, I'm going to go ahead and go to the desktop. So I'm just going to type in capital DE, fill in here with desktop, and then the name of this file. And I'll hit enter. And you'll see the hex editor comes up. And so what I've got here on the left hand side is, is a list of location where the, the basically where the files are written in relation to this particular file and so we start off here at the beginning and I see that at the very beginning I've got lecture snippets now I've got two sections this section right here that I've got highlighted is going to be my hexadecimal format and on the right hand side now is going to be the ASCII format and if I hit the tab key you'll see that it switches over every time you hit tab it'll switch back and forth and so you, depending on what section we're in we're going to actually be using our, our commands for and so you need to make sure that you're in the correct section that you want to work with so if you're looking for like a keyword and you don't know the hexadecimal equivalent to it then make sure you're in the ASCII equivalent so this is the hex editor of this particular file now I'll go ahead and do a control Z there to stop out of this or close out of this and one thing that we do want to know if we start using this file for larger our application for larger files I'm going to want to look at the man page for this particular one so we'll go ahead and type in man hex edit and you're going to see there's a list of things here that we're going to want to look at when we're working with this. Of course the navigation with the arrows is pretty self-explanatory however when it comes to things like searching for files we'll go ahead and scroll down here a little bit here we go it's going to be the forward slash or a control s to search in a forward motion and this is probably going to be the most common thing that we're going to do is use that uh, to search for a particular file or a string that we're looking for. So if you look through here you may want to find or take note on some of the ways of using this application. I'm going to go ahead and quit out of this one. I'll just use the Q, Q um, key to quit out of that. And now we're going to go ahead and look at some other options for this particular file. Since test file was such a small file I'm going to try for something a little larger. I'm just going to type in fdisk with a dash L to look at the hard drives that are currently associated with this uh, computer. And I've got a partition here, this SDA1 is a partition, and I've got the SDA2 and SDA5. The whole entire disk is going to be called SDA. So if I wanted to look at the entire hard drive using this hex editor, hex editor uh, the file that I'm going to actually use is this forward slash DEV forward slash SDA. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. I'll type in hex edit. And if you forget to type in the actual location and you hit enter, I'll do that here just to show you. It's actually going to come up where it's actually going to ask you for the rest of the file name. So I'll just type in forward slash dev forward slash sda and hit enter. And so what I'm looking at now is the entire contents of the hard drive, this sda hard drive that I've got listed here. And if you look over here on the right hand side and start scrolling down, I'll just use the arrow key. You can start seeing some of the stuff like grub information for the bootloader and different things that are going on here. So this gives me an option to see basically everything on my hard drive. Now it can be a little difficult at first if you're not familiar with the hex editor to use this. Um, so what we're going to just simply do for this one is not necessarily teach you how to use a hex editor but just kind of some of the basic functions of hex edit. Mainly in particular it's going to be the searching function. So I'm going to go ahead and now my blinking cursor is in the hexadecimal section and so I want to look or search for a keyword um, that's actually going to be text that I'm familiar with so I'm going to go ahead and hit the tab key 
and now my cursor is blinking over here on this ASCII section so this is where I can go ahead and hit the forward slash and by hitting the forward slash it'll go ahead and bring up uh, the search string for us this ASCII string to search for so I'm going to go ahead and just type in this lecture snippets that's the text that I have in that test file I'll go ahead and hit enter now it's going to go through and search there's a lot of files to go through there's a lot of basically a lot of sectors to go through on my hard drive it's going to take a little while before it actually finds this one and so I'm going to let this run here I'll pause the video and come back when it finds it and it took several minutes but it actually did find the lecture snippets here that I've got the text that I've written and here's the location basically on the hard drive for this particular file and so this is just looking for this test uh, file information here now depending on what it is that you're looking for if you're in a forensics analysis uh, you may be looking for something like passwords and so instead of using something similar to that probably would use something more um, like searching for something I'll use a forward slash again like uh, PASSWD or password something of that nature and so if I do a search on that I'll keep looking now I'm searching from this point forward uh, and so that's something you got to keep in mind this is a forward search so I'd have to start back over from the beginning here if I wanted to search in the beginning or run it backwards and you can see here that it's searching at, at basically this location and it's going to keep going through so this is kind of a brief overview of the HexEdit application that comes standard uh, or installed by default on Backtrack 5.